Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. So I wanted to do a little bit of experimenting. After buying a painting recently from Hannah Ferguson, if you don't know who she is, I suggest that you go and check her out. Her art is amazing. She does all this organic, um, semi-abstract art, and she uses harmonious colours quite a lot. But what really inspired me from her work is that I know she uses this ball on a string. I have no idea the consistency of the paint in it or anything, but she uses this ball on a string and creates these amazing pieces of art. And I wanted to recreate that kind of style. Only problem is I don't have a ball on a string. So I made up my own two techniques to try and recreate her style. You'll see one works, one doesn't. But either way, experimenting is the only way that you're going to find out. So I started off by painting my piece of paper with yellow and orange. They're going to be my harmonious colours um, because I'm going to do my flowers a red colour on top. And to do my black outlines on the first picture, I decided to fill up a sandwich bag in the same way that you would with an icing bag and I filled it with watered down uh, black acrylic but it was too watery and you'll see that it just looks like ink and it splodges everywhere it's horrendous but at the same time I actually kind of like it because it's abstract and I don't do abstract very well my second technique was filling up my little PVA glue bottle that I've got with a nozzle on the end um, there was already glue in there but I mixed some black acrylic paint in there uh, had no idea how this was going to turn out but actually it was the right consistency and I had more control with the nozzle only downside to that is if you look at Hannah's work her work is more free flowing I couldn't quite get that free flow out of this PVA solution I think it turned out really well actually though even though it's not a ball on a string I like the little bit of shine to it as well because it's got the PVA glue mixed in with the paint this is very different from my work but I think it's important to every now and then come out of your comfort zone and take an element from another artist that you really like and apply it to your work thanks for watching guys thanks for watching my first technique go terribly wrong uh, but hopefully it's worth the watch um, and also please check out Hannah Ferguson's art as well I'll put the link in the description box below to her Facebook page she is amazing. Bye.